Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome to our game making series using Zapato and Unity. In this episode, we will be setting up a 3D environment using Build It and then import that environment in Unity and later use that environment to create an awesome game. Without any further delay, let's get started. So when you open Build It, you have multiple options. Either you can create a new environment or you can choose an already built template. So in our case, we won't be building a new environment. Instead, we will be choosing a template and modifying it according to our needs. So I'm going to select this store template and see if I can make use of this or not. So this template looks really nice. We have this tree covered. Then we have this waterfall. Let's hop inside and see what do we have. So the space is empty. We have no props around here, except we have few benches that are arranged and some lights. So the environment is really nice, but it won't fit the theme of our game, which is a prop hunt, or we can call it a hide and seek game. For those who do not know what a prop hunt game is, it's basically a game where you transform yourself into a prop, such as a table, a coffee mug, a tree, etc. And the player has to find you within a particular amount of time to win the game. So let's open another project. And this time we are going to use this cafe template. We might need to make few adjustments in that template, but this will fit our theme. So let's just quickly take a look at the template and make the few adjustments. So it's finally starting to take shape. We have added our walls. It's time to add few trees around. Now we are almost done editing. We have our exterior ready. Now let's add few interior items. So instead of adding everything right now, we are going to add few basic items here such as chair, table, etc. And then in the later stages, we will add props and import it inside Unity. This way we will save our time. So let's add the props outside and then inside Unity, we will arrange it as required. So finally, we are done editing. Although it took some time, I'm finally happy with the progress. Let's save the project here so that we can import it inside Unity. Let's rename it as Zapato's Hide and Seek or maybe just Hide and Seek will work. Press save and finally we are done. Simply close build it and open a Unity project that we have created in a previous episode. Now what we need to do here is first check whether we are logged in using Zapato's ID or not. If not, then simply type your email and password, then press login button. Now the next step is to select windows and from there select package manager. Wait for it to load and then select my registries. Now select this package zapito.build.loader and click install. For me, it's removed as I've already installed it. Now select Zapito from the menu, click on build it and then select map loader. Now wait for the map to load and select the map that we have saved inside build it. And for us, it's hide and seek. Let's select it and load it inside Unity. Let's wait until the map is being downloaded inside Unity. So finally, we have a map downloaded. Let's have a look around. And while we are looking around, let's disable these lights as well. So we are done with this episode. Let's quickly sum it all up. The first thing that we have learned is to create a 3D environment inside Build It. And then we learned how to use that environment and import it inside Unity. I hope you loved the video. In the next video, we are going to see how to set up a player and make it move around the environment. And don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for more content on game development.